AD is a diameter. That's very important. A mm -hmm. diameter cuts the circle in half. So the three angles, the three blue angles make up 180. Yeah. So it's, it's 66 plus the unknown, which we'll call X, plus 52 equals 180. That is, the, while, uh, how do I say this? Uh, yes, yeah, so that's the first thing that they're, they're showing you how to find. And that, that does end up equaling 62, 62 degrees, okay? Now, uh, you, you said it's spot on. AB, measure of arc AB is related to the central angle. Mm -hmm. So the, these are exactly the same. So if this is 66 degrees, the measure of arc AB is also 66 yeah. degrees. And the same with any arc that is, they call it subtended by the central angle there. Yeah, so. Oh, I got that wrong. It says the, uh, that wouldn't the length of, arc BC be um, 62 degrees. So that you, you so what they're trying to get you to see is a, to distinguish between the the angle measure and then the actual like walking distance, which is the which is the length of BC as a walking distance. Mm -hmm. So that's part of the circumference, right? You're you're literally taking a walk from from A A to B, or I'm sorry, from B mm -hmm. to C. Okay, so to determine that. You have to start with the circumference formula, um, which is two pi r. You've seen that in class, right? Yeah. Now, now for the for an arc, for the length of an arc, it's the angle out of three hundred and sixty. Basically, what fraction of the circle are you going around times two mm -hmm. pi r? Okay, so uh, we need so we need that central angle, sixty two degrees. Yeah. Okay, so let me let me just follow this, carry this through, so maybe it'll make more sense. Sixty-two divided by three sixty, two pi, and then the radius of the circle is is twenty-two. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, and again, the idea is that you're you're not going all the way around the circle. You're just going sixty-two out of three hundred and sixty um, angle or degrees. Right. So. Is that just an equation that I would plug into a calculator? Yes, yes. So the 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 um, any any length of an arc is going to be is going to be this this equation uh, that I've that I've boxed in here. So we can call it the length of an arc. Um, are you comfortable entering something like this into your calculator? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so let me. Yeah, so I got 1.1.2 1 when uh, rounded to the uh, near synth. Uh, should be much larger because you're 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 multiplying by two pi times twenty two, the radius. Oh. The, I think I put the um. It looks like maybe you did not put in the the radi the radius. I mean, is there, do I need parentheses anywhere else? No, or what kind of calculator are you using? A TI-83? TI-84. Okay, so you can type in 62 slash 360 mm -hmm. times 2 times the pi times the oh. 22. That, oh, okay. that, that will do it. Oh, okay, yeah, twenty three point eight. Yes, and that's that's got a unit of meters because it's it's a walking distance. It's a, it's a length you might you might walk around, say, a circular lake or something like that. Oh, okay. So, so tell me what 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 is unclear at this point, or what you're not sure of, because um, I just sense some hesitation in you. Uh, about these this problem. Yeah, I thought I thought the uh, that the measure of the arc was just the like the degree of it, like uh, like the measure of oh, it was 
length versus measure okay yeah so the big difference is this m in front yeah that's and what i was confused about. It's, it's it's kind of awkward you're like well why would it matter it's it's geometry this is why it matters because it's it's in this class um so it's you have to distinguish between the two because you'll get a question on the test they'll be like what's the measure of bc and then what's the length of bc and they're not the same one is an angle yeah. one is a distance oh, okay got it okay let's look at number two um and you're welcome to queue up more problems you want to send more over while we're working on these um yeah so 180 minus 150 that's right so uh ced is 30. good i think it's good to label the picture also as you go um so now the measure of arc cd is exactly equal to oh, six, to 30. yes and so then the length of CD is going to be um, 30 over 360. And then equal. this is the, this is the circumference formula, 2 pi r. Oh, right, 2 pi r times the um, So notice if you went all the way around, yeah, nine, nine, oh, nine okay. kilometers, yeah. What I was going to say is if, if you went all the way around the circle, this would be 360 on top, and 360 divided by 360 is 1 and you would just be left with the two pi r that you're used to. Mm -hmm. Okay, so grab, grab your calculator. Uh, let me know what you come up with, just so we're on the same uh, page on this one. Yeah, I got a uh, 4.72, or 4.71. And what are the units of that? Kilometers. Good. Now your instructor says to round to the nearest uh, hundred. Did yeah. we do that in the last problem? We did not in the last problem. I did. I did. Oh, you did. Okay. I did not. <laughs> Got it. So then for number three. Oh. Let me snip that in. Oh, just when you think you've got it, they give you a slightly different picture, but it's, it's the same setup, same. Mm -hmm. So, so A, F, E. Okay. So what, what maybe you're missing here or, or because there's, there's a lot of extra lines mm -hmm. is that B, E, B, E is a diameter. And so this, this thing in red here is a semicircle. How many degrees are in a semicircle? Do you remember? 180. 180. So the the answer to AFE, this this one here, oh, yeah. 180 minus 42. All the other lines are distracting at the moment. Yeah, got it. So AFE is going to be 138 degrees. That's correct. And then the measure of AB is going to be 42 degrees. Good. And then the length of AE. So just be AE. careful here. That's that's this one here. Yeah. Um, AE minus 42. So 138 over 360 times 2 pi times 14. Good. Cool. Thirty three point seven two. Good. Um, Good. Don't don't forget your units. Years. And two centimeters, and then oh, cool. And I'll, I haven't sent the uh, the other ones over, huh? Yep, just uh, stand by here for those.
they should be sending and Got it. So let's uh, let's get started here with number seven. Thanks for sending those over. Mm -hmm. uh, so kind of, kind of the or, same. Why don't you talk me? Oh no, I'm sorry. Four. We should go to yeah. four. Apologize. But, uh, so for number four, we're trying to find uh, central angle BFC. That's right. And we know uh, AC is a diameter, so it's going to be 180 minus 125. I agree. So uh, BFC is going to be 55. 55 degrees. Don't forget that degree symbol. Mm -hmm. And then ED is, the measure of ED is going to be 60 degrees. Good. And then the last one is they want the length. To find the BC. length of BC. Um, it's going to be 55, yeah, 55 over 360 times uh, 2 pi times 18. Yes. Okay, and grab your calculator. Let me know what you come up with. And that's 17.28. Uh, what are the units of that? Millimeters, I apologize. Yeah. Your teacher will likely mark you off if you don't give them everything. Mm -hmm. So then for number five, we want to find the measure of angle CED. And we know 92 is about so. 127, 180 minus 127. It's going to be 53 degrees. Good. The measure of CD is going to be 53. Okay. How about the last like, part there? The length of CD to find that it's going to be um, 53 over 360 times 2 pi times 13. Okay, sounds good. And that's going to be 12.03 yes. um, what are the, what are the meters. Very good. Number six, AGB. Yeah, see if you can work this one out on your own. Let me know what you come up with. Sounds good. So I got, for the measure of AGB, 38, de 38 degrees, Good. measure of BC, 44 degrees, and then for the length of AB, 5.31 degrees, or centimeters. Yes. Nice. And now it's number seven. Um, So 
So the measure of BFC is 82, the length, or the, uh, the measure of CD is 98, and then for the length of CD. B B C B C. Oh, yeah, for the length of BC. So, twenty-seven point two one kilometers. I got, I got one nine. I don't think about that matter. Oh, you, yeah, you did, yeah. you did. You're right, you're right. Yeah, one nine. Okay. Cool. You, you know your teacher to know if that would be a big deal or not. Um, yeah. All right, number eight. Um, uh, BGA is forty-eight. BC one fifteen. Maybe forty-eight. Oh, wait, the AP. Do you have an answer for that last one? Yeah, it's 17.59. Millimeters. Millimeters. Yes. All right, last one, at least for now. Um, so we have one. E fifteen length of D E three point nine three millimeters meters. Yeah, and then for the other ones, uh you said eighty one, I think, and D E is fifteen. Mm-hmm. Okay. Great. Great. Cool. So is there, is there another side to this? Or is this no, this, this is it. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think. So the I can tell you where you're going. We can like I said, we can preview an upcoming um, mm -hmm. oh you know, I think uh, I have a test that we can go over the test I took. Good. Yeah, send some send over some pictures of that. Um, we'll take a yeah. look at what. Sorry, let me just uh, yeah, take your time. We got we, we got plenty of time to be able to get through it, get through some questions.
Uh, I can't find the test, unfortunately. Okay. But, Do you remember any of the concepts on there or any of the? Yeah, it was kind of just the stuff that we were doing. It was um, it was the uh, the triangles and stuff. Right, and the heights and using some tangents and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got a and, couple. I missed a couple of those, but. It would would just spending another minute looking for it help? I mean, is it is it one of those things where you just need a little more time? Um, yeah, let me look again. I'll I'll look for some problems as well on that. Sounds good. You know, I, I can't seem to find that. It's okay. I've got, I found a couple of problems that are kind of similar to the ones you, we were uh, doing the other day. Um, okay, cool. Or, or uh, you know, something else. But so let me, let me read the problem here. And, and what I would like you to do is to attempt to draw the, 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 the situation. Um, okay. So it says you are a block away from a skyscraper that is 180 feet tall. Your friend is between the skyscraper and yourself. Okay, uh, so the uh, the angle of elevation from your position to the top of the skyscraper is forty two degrees. The angle of elevation from your friend's position to the top of the skyscraper is seventy one degrees. How far are you from your friend? So uh, you need to read it again, but um, let me know what you. Uh, you come up with here okay so i got do you want me to send you a picture? Or no, you... no. I'm I'm gonna draw one here. Uh, did you put your? Were they left or right of the skyscraper? Left of the skyscraper. Okay. So the uh, the idea is that person one. In and that's that's forty two degrees. And yeah. And and then your friend, he's somewhere here. That's seventy one degrees. Yeah. And it's seven eighty here. Like this. Yeah, I got that. Okay. So what can you what can you calculate from a from this? Like what I haven't drawn any letters. Maybe you could test how many words. What what can you calculate right away given this scenario? Uh you could get the angle in the triangle for this right uh, okay. up there. 
That's true. That's true. But but we're we're interested in in distances. What what side can you find right away from this information? Oh, uh, how far the friend is from from the skyscraper? Yes. Yes. So how would you calculate that? What which trig function would you use? Um. Uh, tangent. So the tangent of 71 would equal what divided by what? Uh, the tangent of 71 would equal, um, I guess, just like x over 780. So think of it as opposite over adjacent for now. Yeah. Opposite over adjacent. So what, which side is opposite the 71? Oh, the 780. Yes. So you'd write tangent 71 equals 780 over, I'll call it X for now. Okay. Okay, so how would you solve that? How would you solve that for X? Uh, you would multiply tan 71, tangent 71 by X. So it would be X tangent 71 okay. equals 780. And then you divide both sides by tangent 71. Mm -hmm. By okay. tangent, yeah, by tangent 71. Okay, so what, can you tell me what that results in? Yeah, it's... It's 268 and What's let's the go, level of precision? Let's go, let's go 269. We'll just go to the okay. nearest foot for that. So 269 is X. Okay, very good. So now um, that's not the answer though. That's just how far your friend is from the skyscraper. Okay, so what, what we really want is is Y. We really wanna know the, the value of Y, okay? Mm -hmm. But we cannot get it directly. Can you can you look at this? Any can you see any way to get anything else in this triangle that might be useful? Uh, well, we could get the uh, part of the angle up there. That's true. Uh, but that that will not help us because it's not a right triangle. Like this this one on the left is an, yeah. is not a right triangle. So sometimes you have to redraw the figure. Oh, so 42 degrees over by the left and then the 90. Okay, now, that, now that'll give you the whole length. Why would that be useful? Because then you can subtract that from the X to get yes. Y. Yes, exactly. So let's call this um, D, this length D. Go ahead and calculate the length of D for us, please. Okay. So D is going to be 866. Good. And then. So we're 597 feet away from our friend. Okay. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds good. All right. So let me give you another problem here to set up first. Meaning draw the triangles. Mm -hmm. so, so go ahead and read this one to yourself and uh, see if you can, uh, what you can come up with uh, in terms of a drawing and then I'll check your drawing now. Sounds good.
How are you doing on your uh, your drawing? It's going okay. You in there? Okay, I got it. Okay, so it's it's um you could you could draw two separate you could make two separate drawings here. There's there's um, when it starts when it's 25 degrees and 300 meters away, and then there's this one that's later on where it's this angle is 60 degrees. Mm -hmm. Okay, and they want the change in altitude. Okay, so they they essentially want you to find just like in the last problem, the height and then the total height, we'll call that Y, and then the distance between them, the Y minus H. Is that, this? so you're actually asked to find this one here, we'll call this uh, D. Yeah, that's pretty much what I got. Okay, um, do you, I'm gonna go, I'm, I've got a book here with some more problems in it. I'm having trouble finding some on the internet. Uh, could you could you try working with someone out while I go grab that and see what else we can find for us to work on? Yeah, sounds good. How are you doing on this one? Pretty good. I got the uh, I got the height. It's 139. Do do you just run around to the nearest? Um, yeah, the nearest nearest uh, one's place. So like 140 for that one. Yeah. So yeah, I just got 140 for the height. Okay, that that is correct. You can give me the other one uh, whenever you want. Why it's gonna be And then for the total height, I got 3,429. That's too large, too large. Um, did you use, did you use the tangent of 60 again? Oh, no, I used the, uh, the tangent of 85. Okay, so yeah, so there, there's this, it, it's the 60 degrees is the larger, larger angle. Oh. So sometimes it's good to separate them into two different triangles. Oh, I, get, I, I, I see what it did. So 
So 520. Yes. So if you subtract the two, you get um, kind of a nice number. So uh, D is going to be 380. Yes. 380 meters. Um, meters. Yes. OK, good. Uh, now I found I finally found a problem. I guess the thing is more like the ones that we were we were working last time. Um, so I want you to try and draw the scenario again. Um, and let's let's assume the pyramid just just for the, the pyramid is here, so that your your drawing will look like mine or vice versa. Sounds good. What is that 30? Yes, yeah, so I was so just think of this as 35.5 degrees and this other one is at 21 points uh, two, we'll just call it two degrees. Well, we can talk about that another time. It's, this is an older book, so it uses a different angle oh. system. It's not, it's not that old, but it's 20 years old, so. Mm -hmm. 35.5 degrees. Do you have your drawing? Uh, I'm still getting the uh, the second part of it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So it's it's really similar to the, the previous problems we've been doing. The previous problems are the easier like version of these because they they gave you the height. Um, this is the problem here where we have to we have to use tangent and write two equations. I think that's what you wanted us to work on. But um, for the first triangle, the tangent of 35.5 equals h over x. Okay. For the, for the larger triangle, okay, the tangent of 21.2 equals h over 135 plus x. Got it. All right, now from here, you have two equations and two units. We're gonna solve this equation on the right for h. So h is going to equal tangent 35.5 times x, or x tangent 35.5. And, and that's what goes into the other equation. So the other equation becomes tangent 21.2, x tangent 35.5 over 135 plus x. You multiply both sides by that 135 plus x. And then on the left, you got to distribute that tangent to both. So it's 135 tangent 21.2 plus x tangent 
21.2. And then do you remember what we did from here to solve this? Sorry, I'm still getting a uh, Okay, comment. sorry, yeah, I'm going to. Yeah, solve for x. Yeah, so subtract what? Subtract x tan 21.2 minus Good. to both sides. Yes. A lot of rewriting on these problems, but good to show your steps. Okay. So from here, from here, you can factor out an X on the right. A reminder when you put this in your calculator, put parentheses around the bottom. Oh, yeah. All right, so go ahead and calculate that. Let me know what you come up with. Uh, round to the nearest tenth. Sixty point nine. I got something different here. Um, just double check those calc those parentheses. I got because I got. Oh, maybe I made the mistake. I see a, uh, I see a, a sign error in mine. Uh, you said one sixty one. Uh, yeah, one sixty. Yes, that's that's correct. Okay. Now, that that is not the final answer though, because even though we did all that work, that's just this little piece right here. Yeah. To find h, you use the use the equation here at x tangent 35.5. So you're going to multiply your answer, that x value, by the tangent of 35.5. So that ends up being 115. 
Sorry, I, I missed that. What was that? That last part here is you, you got to multiply your answer by the tangent of 35.5. Uh, this this part I've highlighted in green here. Like you just had oh. X. And that's great. Oh, so but we just plugged in X. Yeah, X into this equation. Okay. Yeah. So H is 100, or yeah, 150 100. feet. Good, awesome. 